What do you think the most what do you think are the most effective ways of making gains in crypto? Five tokens at twenty percent, ten tokens at ten percent, or twenty tokens at five percent? Okay, so basically let me kind of rephrase his, this question. So the question is really about portfolio allocation. Should you have five tokens, ten tokens, or twenty tokens? Uh, I mean, so my answer is it depends, right? But uh, from kind of looking at the value investor perspective, uh, so a book uh, I like is by Benjamin Graham, the intelligent investor, and they say for a new investor, when you're investing, to really be fully diversified, you want to have at minimum 10 investments or basically 10, 10, 10 holdings in your portfolio and at most 30. So I would say if you if you fall between that range 10 to 30, in my opinion, kind of based on that book, right? Obviously, every rule can be broken, right? That's that rule is not really kind of cast in stone, but I would say that's probably a good place to start. So the five tokens, I would say is probably the only one that I would not recommend. Uh, but that could be different. Maybe if if your overall portfolio has other assets that aren't crypto, like maybe if you're investing into precious metals, real estate or whatever, and you're just putting part of your of your overall diversified portfolio into crypto, maybe that, that part makes sense. But if you're really trying to go heavy in crypto, then I would probably look to have at minimum 10. Uh, Bill, your opinion? Okay, I agree. 10 coins is where you want to be. The question is, how do you get there? Okay. So it's not just have 10 coins, it's have 10 coins where you understand like what the token does. Okay. And why you like it. Right. That's, that's not always, that's not easy. That's why token metrics was created. Right. Now you may have to start with five because you may only fully understand five. That's not optimal. You want to expand to 10. Right. But you know, it's 10 coins that you understand. If you're, if you're going out to 20, then you're probably really sophisticated because then you've got 10 principal coins that you want to hold. And then you've got 10 coins where you're going to kind of speculate, right? A little bit of Uniswap, a little bit of Vegas, you know, <laughs> you, you, you want to, you want, you want to try to take a shot. So you'll probably have 10 investments, but you also, if you're sophisticated, you might have 10 small plays, lottery tickets, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, so when it comes to building a portfolio, kind of as Bill mentioned, you, you definitely want to do the research, put in the work, right? So one of the downsides I've seen lots of people in crypto is they have, I've had some people tell me they have 60 coins in their portfolio. And I think that's way too many because how do you do research? How do you stay up to date on over 60 coins? Right? So I think you definitely want to cap it. Right? So I think at max 30, but probably even less than that. So if you, if you go to all the indices on tokenmetrics, we currently only have 10, right? Because we knew we had to have minimum 10 to really be fully diversified. Now, once we automate it in the future, through, so be, for people to be, be, be able to trade on the, our indices, then maybe we'll expand to, to having more. So maybe to 20 or 30. But for us, kind of in, in our back testing, we want to go through and at most have 30. Right? So between 10 and 30, I think definitely makes sense. Uh, tell us down in the comments below, how many cryptocurrencies do you have in your portfolio? Uh, are, are they between 10, between 30? Do you have more? Do you have 100 cryptocurrencies in your portfolio? I mean, because I've heard it all in crypto. So tell us down in the comments below.